and for Toronto. And you look at how these teams match up, Clark. The guard positions boasting plenty of talent. And you think about it, Kevin, the skill level of today's players arguably at an all-time high. But nothing like guard skills to help you put on a show. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. Here's ABC. No good with the wing jumper. off he starts the game with a miss boy that is awesome defense guys against a capable finisher well done I'm sure the coaches love that Kevin he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim yeah Greg he can get up a few notches higher well and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside guys I mean if you can play over the top I think you've got a big advantage We play just over a minute here in the first. The shot misses. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Takes the three. Lakers with the rebound. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, number five. giveaway games with mistakes, they force you to find other ways to be number five. The Lakers with the ball. The Raptors getting the bucket. They get it again. No good with the layup. The Raptors have gone two for four from the field so far. With some arc, count it. Number six. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's ABC. approaching three minutes played somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up yeah coach's pet peeve there no box out those are free points you're giving away you gotta work harder on the class count the basket number seven first quarter of play we're about three minutes in in this day and age and I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter and his first shot of the game no good Raptors leading by three uses the glass to finish the lane he has six and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy. Making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jump. Number five. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Elbow shot is on the way. And the Lakers with another miss. And it's the Raptors ball. They're on a 13-5 run. And he dunks it down. And they 
have owned the paint five. so far, and the score reflects Number it. Five. And you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. That's in for the first basket Number of the game two. after three attempts. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Two free throws Number coming up. Four. Officials on the call with the foul. Number 43. The Raptors that shooting their first free throws of the game. First team back. A year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. It, and it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Puts it up from 12, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. And, and so it's the Toronto Raptors going into the break with a 10-point lead. 17. The Lakers, 7. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. What do you guys think about the Raptors here in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. That one's not going to go. Lakers trailed by 10. And you know, Clark, it, it wasn't an easy first few years of the league for Christian Wood. You know, sometimes the hard road is the more productive road for some guys. You know, he played for five different teams in his first four seasons, Greg, but in his fifth year, he found his groove. And sometimes it takes a little longer for the big guys to find their way. And for Los Angeles, shot clock at six. With the putback. The putback. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting around 29% from the four. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. It's good. ABC's got his first two points. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrich. Thank you, Kevin. This Lakers franchise, of course, has a lot of championships, but they know that nothing's given. Coach Darvin Ham said that that ring and them banners don't come if you ain't on your thing. You've got to be focused and make every day count. We're talking about championship, championship. At some point, the lip service gets old. You've got to go do it. Kevin, back to you. Got to go do it. He's all about action. David, thank you. Up again. It's good on the putback. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Great. He's ferocious when the ball goes up. That's what they've got him out there for, fella. The Lakers on offense. They've got an 8-0 run. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? That was a great dunk, and we've got a great game here. Goes up the baseline, and the Raptors miss again. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 6 so far from the field in the second quarter. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they had a tight that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. Releases from 15. Great positioning on the putback. And the Raptors lead by two. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Plays it up and in on a nice reverse. He's got eight. 
Smooth reverse. He knew just what he was doing there. Toronto so, the timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And one thing you respect about Russell is his ability to get the rock in. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts, he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. We've got 118 left now here in the second. To the left wing. And the Raptors hit again from deep. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Out to the wing. From the arc. Rebound by the Raptors. They've led by as much as 10. That one misses. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. He takes it in. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Los Angeles has shot two free throws, and they want to choose so far. And the first one drops. He's perfect from the line this time. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first half. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And that's it for the first half of that score. Your Raptors. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. The Lakers... Welcome back to 2 Case. From the get-go, it was Toronto coming out strong. They put together some nice offensive stretches and at one point led by as many as... And that wraps up the halftime. through this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far Raptors with the lead we the league is now Greg on any given night we sometimes see a team fall flat is it just after the draw sometimes they're a bit tired and sometimes they relax you know this is why leadership is so vital setting that standard for others to follow and for the lakers from downtown a shot off that time and you could tell he thought that triple was gonna fall the 19 foot shot that shot no good fantastic positioning there to contest that one yeah i agree with you i mean he challenged the shot and you can see the effects on the release of that shot i mean it turned a simple jump into a tough one. and the shot goes down and now a six point raptor lead he knew what he wanted to do all along the teardrop takes the 13 footer and the Number basket 86. good a big shot that time Six points for him. And when he rises up, he knows he's probably going to get a clean look. It's a matter of executing. You know, for me, it doesn't get any better than seeing big fellows who can use the mid-range jumper to their advantage. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their star. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. Poke loose. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Plays it up and in off the pretty assist. assist. And the Raptors lead by four. And guys, the lead has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. To the middle. 
It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Assisted Terrific five. accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Driving the lane. Over to the left wing. And again, it's Toronto converting. It all started with the pass. Three. That's what coaches love to see. Ball move. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Simons grew up under the tutelage of his father. His workout regimen sometimes left his son in tears. Anthony said, I didn't get real joy from working out until middle school. By high school, it was just a normal day. It was so ingrained into me, working out extra and getting up as many shots as possible. Kevin? Well, it brought him here, David. Thank you so much for the story. Toronto calls time out. Dallas Rockin'. Thank you to our Northside crew. Right around three minutes into the second half. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Down low. Second chance shot. Rebound the Lakers. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Raptors moving the ball around. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And he can tolerate gaps like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Inside for the lead. He lays it in. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. 114 left in the third. To the wing on the left. Toronto. Now, the defense was far from awful. However, he still got to make these shots, in my opinion. Toronto trailer. That one goes in. Lakers have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And he drops in the way up off the glass. He's got five. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Toronto's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Eleven seconds left in the third quarter. Six on the shot clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. The 19-foot shot. That one doesn't drop. Three quarters of play in a close game here. It's the Raptors. They lead by one. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple Every of these pretty the assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing to do. It sure is. I mean, he's a nice one. Great vision. Terrific IQ. Everything you want in the point guard. Number 86. The assist. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Toronto's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. And for Los Angeles. Let's it go from 11. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Knocked loose. Shoots. A shot missing. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Raptors foul. Number five. That's his second personal foul. The Lakers in the lead. And the Lakers call time here. 
Time last time season, the Lakers, Lakers making major trades, shaking up the roster, reforming their team. Yeah, you know, Kevin, they had four players left from opening yeah. night. That was yeah. it. Every three major trades bringing in new talent. Yeah. And that yeah. makes it difficult yeah. to find cohesion. So give L.A. a lot of credit for making that playoff run. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys, listen in on what Darvin Ham was talking about with his players. Now, Coach told his guys it's not over until it's over. He asked them to stay sharp out there and to keep fighting. This, it's on us, he said. Back to you guys. Okay, David, thanks. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Just five on the clock. No good on the shot. Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. To the left side wing. Releases from the wing and kills it. And the Lakers lead by three. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. One. Second chance effort, and that one drops. Seven. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second chance points. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Rebound by the Raptors. Knocks it loose. Over to the wing. up the alley -oop pass and a netted alley -oop jam. The game winding down and they just keep changing lead. Hey guys, no separation yet. I really don't think we're going to see any all the way there. That's the free fly. Bangs home the trifecta. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Takes a three. The put that he hangs in there and pushes it on the second chance points. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. 1.33 left to play here in the fourth. Got him with the bump pick, but couldn't finish. The Raptors have gone 3 of 7 from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. And that bucket ignites the crowd. And the emotions of these fans right now boiling over after that shot. The 17 footer. And a good offensive board Number in against eight. the bucket. 19 points in the game. And there's no quit when it comes to battling there until the final whistle. What a good one. Understands his role, does his job, and he did it right there. Timing couldn't have been better. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. And they have a second person here, but the first team gets it on the ground. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock stopped and move the one saving Bracer. Not an A plus trip to the line, but he did get them to move. That's a goal from 11. It's in! And I just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Can you come collected and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by one. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Hey, they do have enough time here if they shoot quickly to get the two for one. We'll, we'll see if they try. Seconds left for the fourth quarter. I don't think soft about the put back there. And, and why can't you know, right? take the duck if you've got it? But you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. And the Raptors call time here. They're behind by one. There's 31 
seconds left in the game. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Out left to the wing. Six to shoot. He lobs it up. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley -oop. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball. It's just look those first, last first seconds ball. away. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. And so both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws. And he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. This That's win is a tremendous game. emotional boost for him. A really an accomplishment and, and crazy finish. Thank you so much take for a road game like this, this and simply really play That's an entire game. And, and that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg. This is